Good morning. One question that people are always asking me is, what language am I learning now? What, what language do I plan on learning next? My answer to that depends on what they mean by learn or, or study a language. And I know most often what people mean by that is, what new language are you just beginning to explore? What language do you know nothing about that you're beginning to investigate? You're going from ground zero and trying to build up ability so that you can use it. Um, and in that regard, uh, I have to say, I, I don't do that anymore. It's not that there are no more languages out there that, that I would love to know. Certainly there are uh, things that I find fascinating, would love to investigate, but I long since realized that I've done too much of this already, that that stage of my life is over, that I've taken many, many languages from ground zero to having a basic understanding of them. And uh, there are only so many of those languages that I can take further and go further with and, and, and develop them to higher abilities, which is what's really important to me, uh, particularly literary reading abilities. So uh, in that regard, uh, I have to say none. Um, but if you follow what my approach to learning and uh, what I've written and said before, uh, you know that I believe that language learning is, is a never ending process. And so in that regard, what languages am I learning or studying? It's all the languages that I'm, I'm currently using and, and uh, getting uh, first and foremost uh, in, in the academy here, I've got literary circles in French, German, Spanish, Latin, and I don't rest on my laurels with any of these beyond uh, what I need to prepare for meeting any of our meetings. I do other readings and, and, and work on these languages on my own uh, so that I'm constantly growing in, in knowledge of the literature and finding new phenomenon and things like this. And uh, it's been a real joy and pleasure for me to uh, begin investigating medieval languages with people and go back and explore uh, Old Norse and Middle High German and Old French uh, with with people. So all the things that I'm doing in the academy, I say that these are things that I'm still learning and, and, and growing in in myself uh, and continuously uh, working on. And that's the beauty when you get to a high level in a language, you're, you're really involved in the literature and, and, and the culture and you're totally immersed in it, but you're continuing to, to grow into it and to learn with it. So in that regard, yeah, all the things that I'm, I'm, I'm currently doing here. Um, and as a middle ground, as a, as a middle ground between them, I can say, well, how about that next question? I do resonate a bit more with that because at the same time, I realized long ago now that I, I should stop exploring and investigating new languages. I've done too many. I can only take certain of them to a higher level. Um, there's a good handful of them that uh, I, I want to, to take to a higher level, that I plan to take to a higher level, that I, I just haven't got to yet or... First and foremost, there are two languages that I did at, at the time when I lived there in Korea and, in, in, and with Arabic too. These are two really difficult languages that um, truly require, uh, you know, if you're going to keep them up to the, the highest levels, you should spend an hour or more a day uh, forever doing that and not able to do that currently. So they're not quite where they, they were or could be. But uh, beyond that, I've got a good handful of other languages that I truly love and did take to a good level and have all sorts of good material to, to take them up to the next level. I'm thinking of, of uh, Russian and Persian and uh, diachronic Greek and all its, on all its periods and um, Hindi and Sanskrit and, and Irish Gaelic. I've got wonderful materials for uh, developing and going further into all of these languages. And if I could ever somehow create more hours in a day or somehow get to another stage of my life, I would love to go back and, and take these up to the, the high literary levels. But um, that's my answer to the question, what language am I learning now? Or what language am I learning next? Um, that phase of my life for learning brand new languages seems to be over. Uh, the phase of my life for continuing to grow into and get pleasure out of and continue to develop into maturity into the languages that I know best and, and use all the time is, is ongoing. And uh, I do have hopes of, of adding a few other languages uh, that have rich literary traditions to that, to that repertoire uh, at some point uh, in the future. So that's my answer. Thanks for listening.